You just woke up one day and just, okay, I'm just going to call the government and tell the government that these kids are not being taken. Dumb. Are you dumb, dumb or are you stupid? All and of I'm the above. saying that you both, because you don't have a brain to think. <laughs> I'm the only parent that's taking care of two. He's a bozo, man. He's a bozo. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to, Miss Carmen is answering some juicy questions right here, man. I doubt that I'm going to watch all of this video. I am tired as hell right now, all right? So if the video is a little low energy, just know a nigga is tired as hell, had a long ass week, and now I'm up early again to do it all over again. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video and let's see what Carmen got to say, man. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to today. Ain't your mom and today, Uncle Joey, still a hoe. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. It's L1 be having everybody. The tips in and feeling good on my show. So my next question that y'all want to know so bad that I haven't told you is how do I feel about the car that I was gifted on my birthday? Uh -huh. And yeah, it's a blessing, you know, like when somebody gives me something, whether it's small to the biggest thing, I'm always grateful, you know, because I feel like I always being like a giver, 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 and I always make sure like I let whoever. I is this a pillow? Need to let them know like I'm here like i love you i appreciate you you know so when that was gifted to me it was like a moment of damn i don't know what to say you know <laughs> like i really did not know what to say and then Carmen out here having her way with these dudes man and i think what i liked it the most was the, like everybody that was there pre like present at that moment it was just so happy for me you yeah. know like it felt so it felt loved you know like it was like a genuine love that i feel at that very moment uh and then my reaction was just really your man's is a genuine trick but that works out in your favor you know priceless because like <laughs> even all the cards that was probably gifted before it was like uh i knew about it or for other reasons it was gifted you know but and let me also say man it doesn't make you a trick or a simp to do nice things for your woman right but you ain't even known carmen for a year and I know I'm going to get some backlash for that because some niggas is out here getting on one knee after three months of knowing a woman, right? So I'm not judging anybody just from my perspective. It's a whole lot of things you got to do for me to actually invest in you. You bought this woman a car, right? I don't care what tax bracket you're in. You still got to prove yourself worthy. And you can't do that in less than a year. What can you show me in less than a year? That says you deserve a car. Like I said, hey, it worked out to her benefit. Shout out to you, Carmen. I'm not hating. I'm pretty sure it's a very small few gentlemen out there watching my video. But man, don't do this type of shit, bro. Don't do this type of shit. Make a woman earn what she gets from you. Point blank, period. But this time it was like, damn, like, you didn't have to do that, you know, but you did it. So from the bottom of my heart, I'm grateful for it, you know, like, thankful. Uh, the next one is, am I still friends with Kiana and Nick? Mm. And yeah, let me go ahead and touch this on the best way that I can so y'all don't say nothing wrong because mm -hmm. y'all know how y'all like to take things and wrong run. and wrong mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. But the, uh, let me just go ahead and say, yes, we are still cool and we are still friends. Mm -hmm. Just because y'all don't see me with her or y'all don't see her with me, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean we are beefing. That doesn't mean that, oh, we're not supporting each other or we're not rocking with Grown people got lives, y'all. With each other or... Newsflash. <laughs> whatever the case may be. For one, Kiana main page on Instagram has been deactivated. Damn, So she has her backup page. Damn. Like, that's what she be interacting with. Instagram be playing this shit, man. So if y'all was looking for her comment and stuff, like, obviously y'all didn't see it because she don't have her main page. What really matters was she texted me. Like, she texted me personally and let me know, hey, sis, a happy birthday. Like, I wish many, many more. So, you know, whatever. Same with me. I'm going to be honest, man, the realest, the realest friendships, the realest relationships, you won't see nothing posted online about it, right? Because just because you fuck with somebody doesn't mean that they, you need to post them on your story or post them on your page or whatever the case is, right? People who are actually living in real life reality are telling people happy birthday in person. They're telling people happy birthday over the phone, not over social media right they don't have anything to prove to social media they don't have anything to prove to us so 
Nick. Same text me. I mean, Nick text me personally and let me know, hey, happy birthday. I hope you enjoy your day. They don't have to post me on Instagram or comment on my pictures just for y'all to be like, oh, they're still great friends. They're still friends. Like, it's not that, y'all. And I seen a video where I think Kiana reacted to it and she said the same thing. And it was like, oh, y'all tried to put a caption on TikTok, I believe. Y'all was like, oh, Kiana said she T-tuck. was returning the same energy she got on her birthday. Her or whatever. And when I watch it, that is not what Kiana said. All Kiana said was, if y'all didn't see her on my birthday, why y'all didn't ask me? Like, is, is you still cool with Carmen or is Carmen still your friend? So why y'all do it to me that y'all didn't see me on her birthday and i totally agree with that because when she had her stuff for her birthday i was in prison when nick had her stuff for her birthday which i'm not sure it wasn't his whatever case was i was in prison you know and then like they invite me i invite them it just happens that like we can't make it or whatever the case may be it just happens but we I was just with Kiana not too long ago we got lashes together we got lashes done together at the same time so it's like God forbid people live life in reality, in the real world. God forbid. God forbid niggas ain't posting about it on the internet. It's not happening if it's not posted on the internet, right? But little do y'all know, and maybe y'all do know. I forgot what song it was. But the dude said on Instagram, straight flexing. People be on Instagram, straight flexing, man. Barely. Don't even talk to the person in real life, but they make an Instagram story post about them, bruh. I would much rather a person reach out to me off of social media to tell me happy birthday or to reach out and say how you doing rather than you go make an IG story post, right? And not hit me up in real life. Real life is what matters. That's what people got to realize. Log off your fucking Instagram and your social media applications and live real life. Just because y'all don't see on camera, stop assuming. Because then when y'all get the answers y'all want, y'all be looking stupid. Because y'all be loud and wrong. Loud and wrong. But y'all know that's how my girls though. Like, Kiana know, like, she ain't going nowhere, you know. <laughs> I swear. All right, the next one is, how do I feel about someone that's cool with me having interactions with your ex? Because we know that Corey recently went on to Neek's TikTok Live. I think it was TikTok Live. And was sending Neek money trying to be messy and shit, right? So I think that's what she, I mean, that's what that person who's asking is referring to. I could be wrong. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure y'all talking about when Neek was on TikTok Mm -hmm. and, you know, whoever, whoever was sending her gift. Y'all know, Mm -hmm. like, I'm just not gonna, (laughs) I just don't have the energy to say this person's name no more. Facts. But, you know, like, a nickname was given and a nickname is gonna be, so. I'm guessing she was on TikTok like and Four Eyes was sending her gifts or something. Four Eyes. She said Four Eyes. That's crazy. (laughs) She got tired of it and she said it and she was like, oh my God, Four Eyes keep sending. Well, she just said Four Eyes. She was like, oh my God, Four Eyes keep sending gifts or something. She was like, thank you. Whatever, whatever. Daddy, like, daddy made me feel no type of way towards her at all because Nick always being the type to be mutual, like, if, if she if that had nothing to do with her like mm-hmm. she don't pick and choose or nothing mm-hmm. but nick is definitely like on her own world you know like she don't be me in the mix nor she trying to be in the mix i didn't feel no type of way like it was just like ugh. Oh, mm-hmm. he's in not her in he's in it was just like really like you know what trying you're to start doing. Shit. Like, you know why you're yeah. doing it you know it was messy that type of reaction nigga. like it wasn't messy it was nothing towards her at all like you know so going into now speaking about my kids Let's talk about this whole little CPS and people talking about things they should not be talking about, that it's not your business, but y'all want to talk about the business. And let me say this. Let me go ahead and put it down first. I've been dealing with CPS for two, three weeks now. Mm-hmm. CPS just now came to the house. or you No, know, I've been dealing with CPS, let's go say, for a month now probably. All right, boom. Then, I've been dealing about it. Nobody knew because it hit social media. I'm not the type of person to put my business out there, especially if it involves my kids. I don't care about how you feel. I, mm-hmm. I don't, I'm don't. i not obligated to post my kids mm-hmm. or update chat on my kids. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So then, when it came down to that lady, I'm not saying no names, y'all, but that lady, it made a, a post on Facebook and mm-hmm. said, oh, I'm not talking about Carmen. Why not bringing Carmen into nothing? But CPS... Why would you want to put that out there? Like, if you wasn't talking about me, you could have just skipped it that and say, I'm not bringing Carmen on into nothing. 
simple as that. It wasn't your place to talk about CPS, even though you didn't say Carmen Kid. You didn't have to mention my kids to know that everybody know that the CPS case involved the kids. Like, even if four, I would have said it too. I would have <laughs> came right after him. Like, why you got it from the whole world? The CPS is on, is on your kids, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so when she put that out there, he already hit the T pages. The vlog was already talking about how he called CPS on me, how she exposed him for doing this, for doing that. All right, so now guess what? He left me to react. And when I reacted, I simply made a Twitter post and said, I don't give a fuck about ways. Who said where, who did where, da da da. Don't bring my kids up to nothing. All she was saying is just keep my kids out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for her to even bring up CPS, like she said, you know it's involving. It's just, uh, the whole situation is messy, man. I ain't gonna lie. Danny is messy as fuck. I'm glad that we got a break from Danny. I don't know. Maybe she just got tired of being messy. But that whole situation was just crazy. That was it. That was it. That was really even a general post. Because we got, somebody mentioned the CPS case. And then we got other people thinking, like, I'm still trying to keep the kids away from this man. Like, that case is so old and so draining. So, like, put it to the garbage. You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> so, when I made the comment, here we go. When people want attention, people going to get attention. Make, she went on there, made a comment, and said, I'm so lost when I was the one who called the team. And we'll do. Yeah, now I'm lost because you called my team and you told my team what happened, what was said, how it happened. We appreciate you for right. giving a hand. So, that's cool that you reached out to her team, but you still didn't have to post the CPS shit for the whole world to see, you know? It's so, up. Cool. Now, guess what? By the time you call my manager, I'm already dealing with CPA. So, by the time you even told him, it was like a confirmation of who called type of stuff. Because I was already dealing with it. Like, you all got strangers, the father of my kid, got strangers going to the school to check on CJ to make sure. What? See it good. To make sure to see you're healthy. <clears throat> like, I'm so confused. Then you got people harassing me and calling my phone because they will need to see Katie so they can close the case out. Make it make sense for me. If I'm the only person that's taking care of these kids when it comes to food, clothes, everything else that I need to provide for my kids, why in the fuck will you want to have strangers be in your kid's face? Like, why would you want to put the kids in the system? Why would you want to put a risk that the kids can be taken away from both of us because you don't have a roof over your head? It's been a year. AKA, it, you're homeless. You haven't taken care of your kids, nor financially, emotionally, <clears throat> physically, nothing. Nothing. And I'm going to keep stressing this as much as I can. You don't know nothing about the kids. But you feel comfortable enough to let people get in your head or it just that you just woke up one day and just fuck it. I'm just going to call the government and tell the government that these kids are not being taken care Fucking of. Dumb. Are you dumb. dumb or are you stupid? All and of I'm just saying that you both because you don't have a brain to think. <laughs> I'm the only parent that's taking care of. Two He's a bozo, man. He's a bozo. And I, I hate that it took you this long to see. But this nigga's a bozo, man. Two, not one, but two kids. <laughs> I have to make sure my kids go to school from Monday to Friday. I have to make sure my kids eat Monday through Sunday. I have to make sure my kids got clothes because they're growing up. I have to make sure my kids keep a uh, haircut. I have to make sure my kids have what they need. Mm -hmm. But you want to do all of this because where? Because you mad, because you bitter, because you jealous, because you... Making shit difficult. You miserable because you broke, because you wet. Because you broke. Because you wet. Huh. And when it comes about my kids, I'm <laughs> always bark and bite if I have to. Because sure. don't come over here and... And this mama bear right here defending her territory. This was something when these kids are perfectly fine. Yeah. If I'm not eating, if I look like I'm the one that's going through it, it look like Carmen Tyre, Carmen Dre, that's Carmen. That's me. That's how I'm looking. That's what I'm going through. <clears throat> my kids not going to go through that. Like, my kids not finna be looking like they depressed. They don't sleep. They hungry. They <laughs> this and that. Like, are you dumb? Just dumb, 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 and dumb. Watch out who you have kids by. That's what I'm going to say. Cause I say that all the time, Carmen. I say that all the time. Watch who you have kids with. Watch who you lay down and sleep with. Right? Watch who you marry. Watch who you consider a life partner. Watch who you lay down with. 
because shit like this can really happen. And like I said, I really don't blame Carmen. She was young, super young. And now that she's older and now that she has matured and this bozo hasn't, now she's stuck with this bozo because now they have kids. So this is something that I'm praying for her on because it's not going to be easy dealing with this dude, man. And it just is what it is. But I'm glad she's letting her audience and the ladies know to why. Be careful who the fuck you give your body to or be careful who you let nut inside of you, right? Be careful because these niggas out here, I don't know, man. Like this nigga's weak as hell. Weak as hell, dramatic, messy. All of the things that a woman should be or is known to be. Corey is. Damn. You know, like, who... Now you got a whole school informed that this kid was viewed by CBS. What the... F right. For well, absolutely no fucking reason. But right. That was, that's where my issue came in at when the CPS ca case was brought up to the internet because it was nobody business to know. It was really nobody business to know. And then, boom, mm -hmm. it came down to when four eyes showed up in my house. <laughs> you showed up in my house when you wasn't even supposed to show up. I don't give a fuck what your kids said. You were supposed to show up at my door. You don't. <laughs> I don't care where in condition you show up. You ain't get the invite. At. I don't care for it at all. <clears throat> okay, you showed up. We'll do however the situation happened. Yeah. You shut up at my door. I had walked to the car with my little sister, walked to the car. Katie was in the house with a princess. I would never leave a two year old by herself in the house. Even I don't get if I'm just walking to the door just to grab her. He said you were smoking in the car. Let's see what she got to say about that. Back or something. My <coughs> kid gonna be by, with somebody adult in the house. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I don't know. What type of parent? This man think I am, but obviously you never even took the chance when I was with you to realize what grave of a mother I am <laughs> for you to never even question me that is your kids good or not. Because even when I was with you, like my kids were taken, like, my kid was taken care of. You didn't have to worry about <clears> them. <throat> you didn't have to put them to sleep. You didn't have to put them on a schedule. You didn't have to do nothing but watch them when I say, hey, I finna go do something. Can you watch them for can you keep, keep, can you stay at the house with the kids? Or can you take the kids with you? Like, be, be, be for real, you know? Okay, cool. And it was said that, oh, I showed up to the door while my two-year-old son was in the house by himself while she was in the car smoking weed. This is yeah. how you know a person just want to, like, constantly keep, like, what is it, like, keep digging dirt on your name or something? Like, mm -hmm. okay, people already know I smoke weed. People know I drink every now and then. Mm -hmm. It's, it's out there. It's, it's out there. Shoot, I put it out there. All right, cool. I don't smoke around my kids. And third, you came in there with a picture in your hand because you thought I was going to have sympathy for you. Right? You thought I was going to have sympathy for you. That nigga is so manipulative, man. You showed up and with a picture and you said that some woman, whoever that woman is, told you that this all that matters and this how you should care about. Woo -woo -woo. Bullshit. Bullshit. You needed a woman to tell you that... Your kid or your kids. I think it's multiple, right? I don't know. I know he has multiple kids, but do Carmen and Corey got multiple kids or is it just one kid? I think two kids, right? Why do you need somebody else to make you realize the importance of what really matters, which is the life that you or the lives that you brought into this world? Are you like like she said, are you fucking dumb? Are you dumb or stupid? Like <laughs> or both? All of the above. I'm going to choose D all of the above with this nigga, bro. Like, are you dumb? So you bring this picture, right, to try to get sympathy. And then you say this lady told you that this is the most important thing to you. And that's the reason why you're showing up to see your kid. If that's the case, then you really don't need to see your kid. If somebody had to influence you into going to do what you're supposed to do, as in go try to, no matter how hard it is, go try to have a relationship with your kids, see your kids, or whatever you need to do as a father. If it took somebody else to influence that decision, then nigga, you can turn back around. You ain't that picture. You know, like, come on, man. Bullshit, bullshit, and bullshit. Because if that's all that you should care about, you should have been caring that for a year. You should have. Nobody should have had to tell you that you need to care about your kids enough to try to. You know, do what you did that day. 
Nobody should. You should have left that part out, fam. This nigga Corey always exposes his stupidity. And I'm not trying to talk down on the dude, man. You know, I'm just speaking facts for what they is. That's all I can do is call a spade what it is. I can't look at a spade and call it a diamond or look at a diamond and call it a jack or look at a jack and call it a queen. I just can't do that. You know, so. You should have been trying to be a parent because I'm so tired of a motherfucker keep saying, how am I supposed to take care of my kids or, or, or reach out to my kids when I'm blocked? I don't know her number. You dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay because first of all not to say it like that but you the one who got me blocked on instagram yeah your number is completely blocked on my phone but don't say that you don't know my number because people around you have my number you can get in contact if you need to even if you need to go through a third party you can do that you have people around you right they they want to see you be a father so why you don't ask them to reach out to me or do something so you can see the kid? When a father want to be a father, a father going to be a father. I'm not about to call you, look for you, <laughs> nor beg you to be a father. Why would I That's do what he should be doing, calling you, trying to get in touch with you, trying to go through third parties, trying to come see his kids. Do that. I'm not going to do that. So if you thought or you were expecting or you were waiting for me to do that, you are going to die waiting. <laughs> you are. You are. Because it's not going to happen. Simple as that. You shouldn't like, have to do that. Nobody got to remind me I got to be a mother. <laughs> nobody got to tell me I need to be a mother. Nobody. Because I know I'm a mother. Yeah. Now let me go ahead and bring myself down. Bring myself down. Hmm. Okay. That next one, why I don't post my kids. This is one of the reasons why I don't post my kids because people on social media is evil. Mm -hmm. And people mm -hmm. pick and choose when they want to post the kids or when they want to, what's the word that I'm looking for? Or when they want to uh, see that the kids are good, that the kids doing this, that the kids doing that. Like, I don't have time to argue with people that I don't know on social media about my kids. Mm -hmm. So because I don't have time to do that and I know the only time you can give me out of character is when it's a, dealing with my kids guess what i'm protected. gonna keep my kids protected, protected. and safe and mm -hmm. keep them and kids life because they are kids they need to be kids so i protect my kids like i don't care nothing about me what's being said about me with do but when it comes to my kids that's a whole different story and like i said i'm not obligated to post my kids but just because i don't post my kids please don't think that i don't have my kids or my mom we constantly keeping my kids because they <clears> haven't been <throat> my mom hasn't seen my kids in I don't even remember the last time my mom had my kids. And if I'm not mistaken, it was probably May. March, May, something like that. Like, like stop. You know, like, they just over, over, like, over. So, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Like I said, man, I'm so glad that Carmen is speaking up for herself. Because I hated the fact that Corey was doing all of those things. And she was remaining quiet. I understand why she did. But at the same time, it's just like we the people <laughs> we the people wanted to see her take a stand against this bozo and i'm so glad that she's doing so now and it took a situation unfortunately that has to do with her kids for her to step up and, and say something even though she has said some things here and there like she said she don't play about her kids and that's one thing that differs or di differentiates her from different differentiates her from from Corey. so i'm glad that Carmen is doing what she needs to do as a mother. I'm glad that she's moving on to bigger and better things. And she's very deserving of way more than Corey can provide. Right? Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of that shit. He doesn't have any of those bases covered even within himself. So, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below, man. Um, any other reactions that you want me to do, let me know. I'll be posting on, of course, my main channel, my second channel. I also have a crime channel as well. I don't know when I'm... If y'all want to see crime videos, let me know. I might, you know, let y'all know about my crime channel. Of course, I got my True to the Game channel with my fellas over there too, which I don't promote that at all because it's just like, for what? You know, ladies out there, y'all don't want to know about what I be telling the fellas, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, other than that, make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mama, tell they uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video and I love y'all man peace we out baby